Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is video True and welcome back to Stellaris the Impossible Run. Well, last time we came to a terrifying and utterly hubristic conclusion, which is uh, the Impossible Run might just might, in theory, be possible. We've got the technology, we've got the economy. Now it's just a question of can we actually get the right fleet together and engage the Scourge in the correct position to potentially win? Because uh, we might be able to give them a bit of a run for their money. I mean, just look at that. The battleships being produced en masse. It is sexy as anything. We are really starting to build up some power here. Every single one of our battleship-only fleets is, yeah, worth about 60,000 fleet power right now. But that is 60,000 fleet power that is very specifically tailored to hard counter what the Scourge can throw at us. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty positive about this, actually. On top of that, we've got Titans coming in soon. We have just actually picked up, yep, experimental subspace navigation. So maybe, just maybe, I can sneak myself a sign ship over to Corinth over there. Because uh, if I can, that might actually be, yeah, a very good way of grabbing myself a wounded queen. But though I'm feeling pretty good about life, it is in fact, yeah, a bit late for some people. Because unfortunately, Ospra is now literally right on the edge of invasion. They are ready to just move in and annihilate the capital of the Almeida Syndicate any day now. So, uh, 264 trade value. Absolutely magnificent. It's well guarded, but that's not enough. It's just not enough, and that's such a shame. But while we continue to just build up our forces, I have actually noticed something else, which is, uh, yeah, a bit of a surprise, which is, uh, if we look around the Fall of Empires, say, I believe we've got, you're the materialist, aren't you? Yeah. We're doing okay with those guys, actually. We're moving in towards uh, having equivalent fleet power, though their technology is still superior to ours. Same basic deal with the Vren Guardians, but yeah, actually, those guys are just a tiny bit weaker than us in terms of fleet power. But, um, yeah, here's a bit of a surprise, actually. If we look over here at the Xenophobe Fallen Empire, those guys have pathetic fleet power next to us. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with them, because... At one point, I saw that, yeah, their rather lovely Death Star that's floating around over here. I think we've got visibility of that, in fact. And uh, where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. There it is. It is lovely. Yeah, that naffed off to the far side of the galaxy at one point. And uh, I'm not 100% sure why. It just did. So I'm guessing at some point, the Xenophobes had their asses kicked by somebody. And also, ooh, okay, some of their fleets are also just coloured boxers. But best as I can tell, literally the only fleet they've got is, uh, yeah, this force right here. So, four battle cruisers and eight escorts. And as we've discussed before, they're fine, but not that spectacular. In particular, these guys heavily depend on projectile weapons. Good against shields, not good against armor. And I'm flipping covered in armor right now. So if I were to go and basically just beat them up, there might be a lot of really, really good technology to be got out of that. However, there are problems. One, I'm in a federation these days. And two, you need an actual reason to go to war. So, even though it's a bit on the expensive side, I think I'm going to try and get myself a claim down. Because, hang on, let's just double check here. This system right here, this is actually your, that's your capital system right there. The core and boundary, I mean, just look at all of that. Right there. Oh, that's absolutely magnificent. Basically, just free piles of giant stuff forever. I love it. Now, how much is it going to cost me to claim that? Ouch, 262 influence. Okay. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get that claim down, even though that's really, really bloody expensive. So, if I can just occupy that system, I get it. And with that, I've got the core of their economy. They won't be able to rebuild. Lots of the rest of this will be, yeah, nothing particularly interesting. Little planets they've settled or whatever. So I just need to get hold of that. And that will be a huge, huge benefit to me. The problem is, I'm guessing, in fact, you know what? Screw it. Hang on, hang on. Before we declare war on them, just in case it actually does go through, make sure I understand where all my fleets are. Because, yeah, technically... I'm supposed to be guarding myself against all of these bastards over here in the Great Tempest. But the Almeters have occupied this system. I'm not sure that actually means anything, though. Ooh, that's... It's a bit... Yeah. I'm not sure about this. 
Actually, you know what? This isn't the worst thing in the world because these fleets here, these are messy old fleets that probably could do with a bit of replacing anyway. So let's not worry about that for the time being. Let's just figure out the best way to get where we need to go. So yeah, cut through this system, straight to here. That's all we need. So I can just cut through Anari space and uh, yeah, loop through my trading bird friends to get there. That's not too bad at all. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. So what we're going to do is say these four fleets are going to go in, they can handle that, and they're going to be supported by my new incoming artillery fleets, Phoenix and Siren. So let's just actually, yeah, give them a bit of a moment to finish training, because I believe we're actually still training some new battle cruisers right now. But that will actually do, let's see if we can actually, yeah, go to war with these guys. Ah, oh, more refugees coming in. Actually, refugees from the Bavia. Right, I'm friends with the Bavia, so we're just going to overlook whatever war crimes they're doing right now. Declare war declare a conquest war. The problem is, yeah, I can't force any of these guys to vote yes. We just need to see uh, how the vote goes. So we're going to go and conquer and uh, no. Those guys are saying no, presumably because, you know, they're a bit focused on the whole crisis situation. Oh, and there's my Xeno outreach agency. So immigration pool plus 25% across the entire corporate empire. Flipping love it. We'll build one of those as soon as we can. Yeah, keep on keeping on and... Okay, a free ascension perk. And unity ambitions. Right, well, that's nice. You know what? I'll never say no to a free ascension perk. That's just lovely. In fact, yeah, that showed up really early. Okay, if I can't declare war on you, I might be able to trick you into declaring war on me. So what I'm going to do right now is, uh, ah, they've just become inferior, not pathetic. So uh, we're going to be rivals now for a bit of bonus influence. And also I'm going to insult you because you reek of desperation, you stupid bastards. There we go. So they're at minus 480 right now. And uh, that's made them angry. Now, if they're stupid enough to attack me, then that means I can go and take their home system off them and it'll be lovely. Though actually just thinking about that for a second, how many troops would I need to, uh, to do that? Quite a few as it turns out. This place is a bit on the well-guarded side, yes. Well, we'll see if they're stupid enough to take the bait, because if they are, then hopefully my friends over at the Xenophile Empire might come and help me out. Because, yeah, they're sitting on a bunch of gateways, and I've just reactivated a gateway over in my empire. So they can actually get over to the north of my empire really nice and easily. And there it is. There's my science ships able to just slip where they're not supposed to be. Now that, that could be very important indeed. And what do I need to do here? Honestly, that's, that's very, very expensive. Let's just get, yeah, a little bit more in the way of uh, technician energy. That's only going to take a year. Then we'll just keep re-rolling because, uh, hang on, what else do I actually, uh, what do I need at this point? You know, I probably should start doing the repeatable text. I'm not sure what else I need. Oh, here we go. They're offering me a chance to apologize and screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. The Snivellet friendship will not be bullied. You can go and shove the flip right off. And they've just picked up, yes, a Kausas Belli. Go on, do it, you stupid bastards, do it. Now, with the new gateways in position, yeah, this level 3 science ship, you uh, try and work your way over to- Oh, I mean, sure, go through the old cluster if that's what you want to do, if that's the most efficient way to get over there. Maybe don't go that precise route, though. That seems, uh, that seems risky in terms of uh, passing uh, very close by to where the swarm are, actually, yes. But, uh, yeah, get into that sort of ballpark and, uh, yeah then maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to uh, move around over here. Actually, thinking about it, if you just go over here to Almerta space, that's actually not too far away from Corinth. You might be able to just get in there, do this business with the Queen, and then get straight back out again. That could work. Oh dear. Um... So a fallen empire just went in to try and deal with the swarm and was annihilated, by the way. That was the chroniclers, was it? Yeah, these guys are now pathetically weak. Right, so uh, that fallen empire attempted to actually help out and it went horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, you basically did nothing, got it. Though I am admittedly starting to suspect that possibly one of the fallen empires went and dealt with the Great Tempest because no fleets have shown up to deal with terminal egress, so... Uh, I'm starting to suspect that, yeah, someone may have just gone and taken care of it, and I just don't know who it was. 
but logically it couldn't really be anyone other than a fallen empire. Okay, tradition time and may as well finish off harmony actually, because if I recall correctly, uh, yeah, stability up 5% is fine if fun spectacular, and this last one is amenity usage down 10%. That's nice Research to have, complete. hardly spectacular, but it'll do. And uh, there we go, there's the engine credits up. Now, what do we actually need to do? Ooh, yes, energy weapon attack speed. That's pretty damn good, actually, yes. Though that will take, like, eight years. You know what? Before we start getting into repeatables, uh, let's just start upgrading my physics a bit, because uh, I can get more out of it yet. Ooh, here's fun. I can actually send one of these guys against the bloody Fallen Empire. Now I'm... Ooh. Okay, fair enough. They're actually going to refuse to attack the Elder Racers. All right, you're a bit smarter than I gave you credit for. Okay, my sign ship is now in position on the edge of Terminal Egress. Now, uh, I've never actually done this before, so I've no idea how it works, but experimental subspace navigation. Now, does that mean you're allowed to, like, go to, to here or something? How does this work? There we go. I've clicked on the system, and they've now just disappeared. Uh, the problem is, uh, how long is it going to be until you actually arrive? You're going to arrive in... Okay, no time whatsoever. Uh, the problem is, uh, where are you right now and are you about to be murdered? Oh, wow, you're... You're literally exactly where I need you to be. Right, research that project right the hell now. We need to get in, do this, and get out. Because are you actually responding at this point? You're responding... You're going over there. That's in the wrong direction, isn't it? Yes, that's the wrong direction. You guys are possibly coming to intercept my science vessel. Okay, they don't seem too interested in me sniffing around that queen just yet. That was a very fast jump, by the way. It took you, like, one flippin' day. Also, I'm beginning to suspect that this announcement may just be wrong and slightly bugging out here. Because, yeah, according to this, all the refugees in the world are coming from the Bavia. But... Owls are the Almeters. Why on earth would the Bavir be creating owl refugees? That doesn't even make sense. So, I suspect that's actually not right. Also, yeah, just, uh, just keep going on with this, please. Keep going on. You're almost done. Yeah, that's right. Just keep on scanning 33%. And if time was actually passing by, that would be useful. Okay, this is happening very quickly. And you are passive, not evasive. So, you won't jump out if there's trouble. Can you actually escape, by the way? I don't know if you can actually escape. Hopefully, you can. But... Bloody hell, we've managed to get ourselves a queen, because I think this is actually officially these days a, a major relic. There we go, we flipping got her. So we've healed her injuries, and on top of that, we've removed the organ responsible for the creature's subspace connection with the rest of the scourge. So we've got ourselves a captive queen. Now, the question is, yeah, do I actually need to somehow find a way of getting it home, or it's just disappeared? I think it's a relic now, isn't it? I believe it's a relic these days. Uh, this should prove a very useful asset. And I thought she was a relic. Oh, no, she's actually a ship. Oh, dear. Um, How are we going to get you out of here? Because uh, you don't have the ability to just jump wherever. Yeah, I thought you were... Um. I thought you were a relic, but it turns out you're actually a massive, terrifying ship. And when I say massive and terrifying, 1,800. It's not exactly spectacular, to be honest. So, yes, indeed, we have captured the Queen. The question is, um, how exactly do we get it home? Because I'm not sure we actually can. And I'm guessing they don't acknowledge it as a friend anymore. Right, well, um... Well, the science vessel can just, like, get out of here. So you can just jump over there. That's all absolutely fine. And, okay, I just said, I just said go over here. Okay, now they're refusing to actually jump out too. Apparently they're not wanting to leave the queen behind or something. We're surrounded. There are fleets on every flipping side. How on earth are we going to sneak this queen out of here? I'm really not convinced we can. Also, who the hell are you? Ah, that'll be the last of the peacock dicks. Got it. So they're almost dead at this point. Actually, there's a bit more over here. Just, yeah, you've left these guys alone for some reason. Ah, probably because it's the capital. So uh, it just takes a bit of time before you can actually, yeah, take out the army's land to murder everyone. Okay, the only chance we've got is to sneak it out to uh, probably the south. We probably want to try and sneak it out to... Uh, the south, get it into our med territory and get it through the wormhole, but I'm not convinced that's gonna fly, to be perfectly honest, because uh, there are so many flipping fleets everywhere. 
How are we going to get it around? And we're completely full up on food again, aren't we? Bloody hell. Right, just flog a load of it to the market. Okay, that fleet down over there is moving south. You're about to move into... No, you're moving north over here. Okay, there might be an opportunity for me to... Oh, bloody hell. You know what? We'll just leave the queen where she is for the time being. I'm not sure she's getting out of there. I mean, somehow they seem to have not particularly noticed we're here, which is great. So uh, let's just go and, like, you know, hide over here, right in the flipping corner, far away from any fleet that might pass through, and maybe there'll be a quiet moment for us to escape down the line. Because, yes, indeed, she is actually slowly spawning friends around her. So uh, as time goes by, she's getting stronger. There's now actually a tiny swarmling right there, and I really thought she was a relic I could use to just spawn fleets like the head of Zar Clan or Glory to Zar Clan, but no, no, she's actually a unit, which is going to make life a lot more tricky. Also, Grey Tempest. Okay, so they're not dead. Very not dead, in fact. Probably heading in my direction, actually. They're also very politely going nowhere near this actual station, so they're just going to let that stand. And oh, blimey. Someone was just, you know, trying to pass through the L-Gate. Didn't work out well for them on this occasion, no. Did not work out well at all. Right, well, if you want to come and take me on, that's absolutely fine. We're well set up for you these days. There we flipping go. A fleet moving in. Plenty of point defense off this here station too. Oh, blimey, you immediately killed some of those flipping defense platforms. They did not last very long. Still, we've immediately just annihilated you. So yeah, that is hyper shields right there. Nice and easy. So uh, they've been taken care of at least. Yeah, those defense platforms are nice, but... Uh, they don't last very long. Possibly my plan wasn't as cunning as I was hoping for. Okay, my queen is now up to 5,000 strength. So I would love to get her out of here, but bloody hell, this is going to be, um... It's going to be tricky, isn't it? How well can you see, by the way? What have you got in terms of scanners? So, uh, high plane detection range 4, sensor range 2. So you can't really see what's going on around you, can you? No. No, you can't. Right, let's start moving you into position to maybe an... Uh-oh, what do you want to do? Ah, 500 energy for 50 influence every flipping time. Never say no to that. Well, sometimes say no to that. But right now for me, no, I'm most definitely not going to. Because actually, that influence should probably be going into giant flipping piles of branch officers over here. There we go. Two new habitats, two new branch officers. Love it. Okay, here's interesting. Over in Bidtox, a huge number of fleets are currently moving south. Okay, I've got a plan here. That means we are going to start moving north. I might be able to sneak the Queen out along the long route over here towards Tabby Space. Or maybe if I could loop around here. Yeah, there's a bit of empty space leading into the Infinite Pond. It's, it's not great. It probably won't work, but it's worth a flipping go. After all, yeah, right now we're just very slowly building up our fleet here, so okay. Are we good? Yeah, do not, do not get close to that thing. Do not get close to that thing. Do not engage that or you'll die. Now, where are you guys? You guys are holding steady for the time being and uh, there's nothing up here. Okay, in which case all I need to do is loop up this sort of a way, loop round over to here and then get right out to the outer rim of the galaxy, right? We're going to bring this queen home. Oh, and there's the Titan. Oh, Flip, I love it. Also, Synth Leaders. Yes, we want Synth Leaders because Synths never die. So therefore, they can get up to their highest level, which is very bloody convenient. So make it happen. Okay, Physics 4 is done and there's Jump Drive. We did want Jump Drive. Get that done so we can actually jump around faster. Right, my Queen has made it over to here. Now move the Queen out to the very edge of the galaxy where if we're lucky... There won't actually be much floating around. So, uh, Queen moves out to here. Absolutely lovely. Starts warping forward, just spawning in a giant pile of troops. I want to say giant pile of troops. She's really not worth the trouble. Alright, she's really not worth the flipping trouble we're going through right now. But, okay. Bring her in over here. And, uh-oh. Okay, well... I think we might be about to... Are we going to live and let live with this constructor? Are we about to attack that constructor? Because if we do, they're probably going to be really annoyed. Yeah, we are actually attacking that constructor. So we're now taking out a constructor vessel. It's now dead. And Oh, hang on. There's... Oh, that's a shame. It's just hull tissue that regenerates. That's such a shame. I was hoping for more than that. But no problem, I suppose. And actually, 
it looks to me like we've got a bit of an opening around the back here. The fleets are actually moving down towards, yeah, where they want to attack. They're not around the back here. I might be able to get this queen out of here. Ah, slight problem, however. Yes, yeah, so we've made it to uh, Evagimar. There was, oh, there was totally a fleet around here. It's naffed off somewhere now, but it's somewhere. All right, we've got to be a bit careful here. And we've also got to make sure we don't go anywhere near these platforms. One nice thing, though, yeah, the Scourge does not have any FTL inhibition whatsoever. So you can get in and get out just skirting around the outside of those platforms if you want to. But yeah, it looks to me like the best way to go now would be to try and loop all the way around here. And oh, bloody hell. There are still plenty of forces in this part of the world, I see. Yes. Looks to me like that 400,000 in the next system over might be heading down towards uh, Weiyu, though. So if that's where you're actually going and you're not just pausing here, then uh, yeah, that'd be good. Then we could just sneak up the back over here, continue on our way. And uh, are you going on or are you just actually pausing here? You are going on. Fine. So in which case, prepare to move on to this system. Are we good, by the way? Yes. Yeah, as soon as we're ready to go, 10,000 strong at this point. You're moving south. Let them actually leave before we do anything. Up to 64 ships and 10,000 strength, which is not bad. Not spectacular either, to be honest, but not terrible. Okay, let this fleet warp out before we do anything here. And... Away it goes. Lovely. So now we can just move in over here. There we go. They're going to be warping out momentarily. And now just we move in. Loop around the outside. Okay, we're making some progress here. Ah, small problem though. There's a lot of fleets in this part of the world. Okay, well, we could go south. We could try and loop south around over here. It kind of depends. Oh, where do we want to go? Okay, where are you right now? Because if you're naffing off somewhere else... Oh, you're coming back north, aren't you? You're definitely coming north. Right, okay. Um, Go and hide right at the edge of the system, please. Go and hide right at the edge of the system. Oh, there's the Ascension perk. There's the Unity Ambitions, though. Yeah, those are a bit expensive, given I'm still researching traditions right now. So I got a bit lucky to come across that one early, though. Uh, it's kind of useless for the time being, because I need to be saving up my Unity for, you know, traditions. For more Ascension perks. So... Uh, Kind of running out of useful things here, to be honest, over in society. So, uh, I guess we'll just clear out the rest of the tile blocks in case any of them are important. But this does give me my fifth ascension perk. So, uh, okay, what's important these days? Because uh, the Colossus Project I could see the advantage of. Just basically jump in, assassinate infested planets, jump straight back out again, if I can get away with it. Not bad, not bad at all. Then again, I do have robots, and I'm moving towards synths right now, so we could start doing cybernetic enhancement. Robots are pretty good, and I do have psionics, so... Okay, I can go down any route whatsoever. Now, I'm not so keen on psionic myself, because psionic's a bit of a gamble. When you reach into the shroud, you don't know what's gonna happen. It can be bad, so you can spend, like, you know, two ascension perks, basically, to roll the dice, and the dice can screw you over, so... I'm not kidding on an option where you're spending a quarter of every ascension perk you've got in the game potentially getting screwed over. Robots, I do like. Robots are decent. Because unlike biological where you need to actually mod your entire populace, actually, hang on, I was just flipping saying society research isn't doing much right now. I could just turn those guys over to, uh, yeah, working on modding the population. That's, that's interesting. Now, galactic force projection is garbage. Don't bother with that. But then again... I've already got about as many star bases I can get away with, so... Uh, yeah, but then again, uh, plus 80. That's not even that much of a big increase. Eternal Vigilance is fine, but it's kind of one I just happen to like personally. I know it's not actually that good. Galactic Contender, kind of fun. Uh, one Vision is alright. Mastery of Nature. Now, that one's interesting, because of course, yeah, that means I can get more districts on a planet. That's good, uh, but is it good enough to justify taking it right now? And also, I quite like Executive Vigor, you know, 50%. If it were plus 100%, I probably would. 50% maybe is not quite enough. And my god, Universal Transactions is so bad. Why is it only 15%? That's so small. Okay, we're gonna do it. Let's go down the biological route and basically say from now on, my society research team is just gonna work on gene modding because uh, there's some powerful, powerful stuff back there. 
Here we go. Gene Seed Purification. Gene Warrior Armies. Go on then. That sounds fun. You get working on that for the minutes. So, the vast majority of the Snifflets are these donkey creatures right now. 76 people, probably, presumably the most populous thing going on in the entire empire right now. And, yep, there we go. They are indeed very, very populous indeed. So, let's see what we need to do to potentially make you guys better. Because, uh, yeah, I could get rid of Deviant or Repugnant, so... Go on, get rid of Repugnant, but then again, that means now I've only actually got two points remaining, because that was a minus, because you can only have so many traits simultaneously. Still, I could get myself Industrious, or Ingenious, or Agrarian. Okay, what would be useful? What's the best thing we can do at this point? I'll tell you what, energy's looking a bit low right now for whatever reason, so I'll give you Ingenious. So yeah, 15% more energy credits from those jobs. Marvellous. So... Create that template. There we go. So, now apply that template to, yeah, all of you guys, please. So, that's 76 population, like we were just saying. Apply that 7,000. That does not seem that much. Yeah, that's going to be done in, like, five months. Just flipping get it done. Why not? Okay, small problem. A fleet has indeed arrived, and I don't know whether it's technically approaching my queen right now or not. So, uh, there is nothing up here. So, Queenie, flee in this direction if you'd be so kind. We might be able to outrun them if they're coming for me. And uh, are you coming for me? They're totally coming for me. Okay, we need to get the flip out of Dodge or I'm about to actually lose my Queen, which would be very sad. Unless, of course, it successfully warps out and actually manages to... Ooh, that's actually worth a thought. If I engage in a fight, but the Queen survives long enough to do a warp out, I'll warp back to friendly territory. Now that, uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to need you to warp out. Oh, dear. I feel like the Queen's about to die, actually. Um, so, yeah, the Swarmlings have been... I'm so sorry. I tried my best. Oh, and hello, sexy. Ministry of Culture, yes. Every time. That's a brilliant building. 15% bonus unity from jobs. Three culture worker jobs. Yep, get it done. Here we go. One basic commercial zone. Replace that with Ministry of Culture. Love it. Aha. And we've now got clone vats, which is a massive increase in pop growth speed. So last chance will start growing very fast. Between, yeah, 25% off five doctors or 33% off just having a building. In fact, does that even create a job? That creates... No, that's actually no job whatsoever. So, 33% uh, basically for free versus 25% for five jobs. You're also going to amenities out to that. So, uh, yeah, clone vats are really, really nice. Also, we don't actually have a corporate culture side there yet. So, uh, get working on that, please. There we go. The snivlets have already been enhanced. That is absolutely marvellous. And if we're very, very lucky indeed, uh, that should lead to a bit of an uptick in energy. Because now they're much, much better at being technicians. Or possibly not, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's actually improve the Istrans, because uh, you guys uh, could definitely do with a bit of an improvement here. So, uh, you're all ingenious, that's all absolutely lovely. And other than that, yeah, it's a bit of a blend, actually. Some of you are strong, uh, nomadic, communal, enduring, all sorts of bits and pieces, actually. You guys are really varied. Overwhelmingly, though, yeah, you're just ingenious. So you've got a whole bunch of leftover points from that. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh, this will do. How about agrarian, strong, and traditional? So that'll be a whole bunch of jobs you guys are doing better. And that will be done in just four or five months. Oh, biological modification. Absolutely love it. Also, I never realised this before, but I always thought every single building had a planet limit of one in branch officers. But no, that's not actually the case. Some do. Like, say, yeah, planet limit of one, but... Fast food chain, if you want, you can have as many as you want right there. Mercenary liaison, have all of them too. That is absolutely fine, that is fine. Right, actually, plenty of them do not have a limit on them. That's fascinating. But yeah, here we go. Xeno outreach that we recently researched. So, uh, immigration pull across my entire empire. Very, very good indeed. Okay, I'm not sure what's actually happened to my surplus. Because I was running an absolutely flipping massive surplus. And now... Uh, it's a fairly significant deficit, but I haven't really made any massive policy shifts, so... Not sure what's going on here. I mean, we're fine for food for the time being, so maybe just bring in a handful of generator districts just to keep us going. But yeah, feels like we got... Now it's back up to plus 40. What on earth is going on? Oh, flip, she made it out! Right! 
We've got ourselves a fleet again, and she's back inside. Right, okay. She's back by cradle. Okay, apparently my queen friend actually survived. The fleet consciousness is still alive. Well, that's flipping marvellous, I suppose. And actually, it's a very fast jump home because, uh, yeah, they can just take the gateway to the reactivated gateway, then just a bit south to snorf. So, yeah, nice easy jump home. Also, I totally forgot to actually set up a titan because titans are the best. Right, so, uh, titanic weapon. We've got nothing but the perdition beam, and I believe there's, like, nothing else in the entire game, so there's nothing else you can do there. Obviously, lovely, lovely neutron launches in every other slot. Power the damn thing up. Hyperdrive 3. Impulse thrusters 4. Subspace sensors 3. Sapient combat computer. Obviously artillery style. But yeah, the big exciting sexy one. What are we going to do for the bonus thing? Because uh, the extra bonus thing is, oh, there's so many good options. So, enemy shield points minus 20%. Total flipping garbage. Enemy ship fire rate down 10%. Reasonable. Not bad. Not bad at all. Subspace snare, so basically chance of jumping out goes down. Yeah, emergency FTL jump cooldown 100%. Disengagement chance minus 20%. Reasonable. Ship fire rate plus 5%. Good. Tracking plus 10%. Good. Or, ooh, healing. Healing on the go. Right, either fire rate plus 5% or enemy fire rate minus 10%. No, we want our own fire rate up, because the point is, we want to knacker the enemy before they even get up to me. Now, I'm guessing a reactor boost does basically nothing in terms of damage. Yep, literally nothing. Fine, so don't worry about that. But, the extra fire control, that's not bad. Right there, because that gives me just a little bit of a better chance of actually nailing my targets. And, uh, with weapons this powerful, definitely be wanting that. Though, of course, first up, we will be needing, yep, Citadel and Titan Assembly Yard. So, get working on that now. That's going to take a little bit of time to get done. But, oh, I'm flipping ready for it. Oh, and there's the jump drives. Oh, flipping love it. 100% safe jump drives. And now, we've pretty much got everything we want to. So, now, yeah, it's a question of, uh, do I want damage or attack speed? Probably attack speed because I need to get the attacks in before they attack us and that's going to take a while to do. There's the gene warriors and aha there's Dro or however you pronounce that. So not 100% sure what it does. Something to do with psionics and we've got some in the empire so why not eh? Oh here we go a menace usage down and with that lovely we get ourselves ascension perk slot number six. Now Am I allowed to help myself immediately to Evolutionary Master? No. I need to have Glandular Acclimation Technology first. So, uh, maybe we wait for that to show up. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. I do have a bit of a problem right now with, yeah, I'm running out of space to expand. Some of my smallest planets aren't doing so hot. Screw it. Mastery of Nature. Let's get Mastery of Nature sorted out because uh, plenty of my planets could be bigger than they are. Like, yeah, my capital is only 18. That is not actually that much. So uh, how about we start doing some mastery of nature right the flip now? That's going to take a little bit of time to do. Tiny Sands could definitely be bigger. Forlorn Hope, that could definitely be bigger. Yeah, we've run out of space on a huge, huge number of planets. So uh, just get working on that, please. Ah, yes, and the smaller planets will actually gain the most from it. So uh, let's just actually get this underway in all the small worlds. Especially, ah, Rubricon, perfect, you're only 13, so you would definitely benefit from this. In fact, yeah, don't bother doing it for Forlorn Hope, that's a bit of a waste of influence. Just go for the small planets that you have something to gain here. In fact, Vetin Vitar is 26, which I thought was bigger than planets could be, I thought 25 was the cap, so well done Vetin Vitar. Right, synth leaders are in play, and uh, here we go, Mega Engineering. Get on it. We've got ourselves a ring world. I want to flipping restore it. Okay, we do have one small problem with the domesticated Scourge fleet health, which is, uh, yeah, it's actually filling up a fairly large amount of fleet capacity for not much in the way of benefit, to be perfectly honest. Like, 11,000 is really not much for 70 fleet capacity. In fact, that's actually uh, kind of terrible. So... Uh, how do we get rid of it? Yeah, it really is kind of bad. And I don't see a way to, to break it down. This is 
Well, this is all unfortunate. Still on the plus side, it is Zarklan Day. Happy Zarklan Day, everybody. So that's good, at least. Oh, hang on. There's an Ether Drake over there. Right, I didn't know that's where that was. That's... That's bloody useful. Because, actually, our fleets are extremely well capable of taking that out. Ooh, Hello there, sexy. Also, ooh, the Silicron League just built a gateway. That's nice. Though, admittedly, I'm a bit jealous they can. Okay. The Ether Drake, Stop which is apparently in good shape. Okay. We definitely want to be killing him because that, that is most definitely worth doing, though, admittedly. I wouldn't mind having this planet. Yeah, generally, the planet's actually the best bit, but actually, is it? Because actually, what I really want is the Dragon Scale Armor. Because if I kill him, ooh. Okay, this is, uh, this is potentially of interest. Yeah, he's far too far away. Actually, is he? How many jumps away from me is that? That's like, yeah, because I've got some territory right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jumps. That's probably a bit on the aggressive side, to be honest. If I go and kill him anyway, also, bloody hell, how did you... Right, there's just some Almed Syndicate down here. This is presumably where you guys are now... Uh... Hiding out, I suppose. Well done. Also, can't help but notice, yeah, the Infinite Pond now owns this space over here. So, uh, I'm guessing the Almerta's got kicked out. And by the way, what's the state of Ospra? Ospra is still in Almerta hands. Just. Right, what route do you guys want to go to? To Oh, hang the flip on. This thing is actually extremely close by to me. Because, yeah, the L gates have opened up some shortcuts. Fine, it wasn't a total mistake to open up the L gates. They do make good shortcuts. So, okay, deploy all forces in this sort of a direction. Okay, we've got the technology. Let's start harvesting this here's row, which I don't need for anything, but maybe we do at some point. I've no idea. Okay, we've got some mastery of nature done here, so I've managed to open up, yeah, just a handful more in the way of districts and a couple of core planets. Which is good, because say on Tiny Sands we do need a bit more living space, that is going to help out with that. Alright, fleets have been moved into position and I have prepared a trap. So, my day-to-day -day fleet are going to move in via this hyperlane and pull the dragon towards them. Once he's nice and over here, at that point, the artillery fleets down south will move in and start attacking him from a different direction. So, uh, you guys are going to start moving in right now. There we flip and go. They're already starting to move in. You guys can start moving in after that point. There we go. Yep, Ether Drake. I know about the Ether Drake. Ominous, yes. <laughs> You're not wrong. It is moderately ominous. Wait for his friends uh, to show up here at oh. all. Okay, he's not paying as much attention to me as I thought he was going to, to be honest. But we're going to open fire on him momentarily. And the strike forces should be on their way in momentarily. So now you guys and you guys prepare to actually move in and lay down the artillery fire. Possibly I've got my timings a bit off. I'm going to be honest, I thought he was already coming in. In fact, okay, we probably don't need the artillery fleet. It feels to me like he's dying very, very quickly indeed, just to day-to-day -day fire. But if you guys would like to get in, like, you know, one... Oh! Okay, they totally got in, like, one shot. Look at that. Right there. They finished it off with ridiculous mega long-range beams. I love it. Right, so we've managed to kill him. That's great. Someone is also a dragon slayer now, which is probably useful. Together with 300 influence, absolutely marvellous, and dragon slayer monument over on Snorf. Love it. Now, focus on the big stuff, however, which is we can be the first people to scan this system. And I'm not sure whether we want it or not, but potentially we do. It could be very, very useful to take. And unfortunately, no sign so far of, uh, yeah, the whole dragon scale tech, which I kind of wanted, actually. That was kind of the point. You know, I think we might just actually, yeah, make Eternal Horizon where we keep the fleet for the time being. Because uh, being right by the Elgate, that's very, very bloody convenient. So... Uh, you could probably do with, yeah, one less gun and one more... Hang on, no, crew quarters is down here, actually. No, so, uh, yeah, let's just actually bring in some crew quarters over here. And this place is lovely. Apparently, there is a hyper-fertile valley on this planet, so that's nice. Though, in all fairness, that is just, yeah, plus five to basic agricultural districts. So, it's not that spectacular. Plus, this place also does have poor quality minerals, which is a bit on the disappointing side. Oh, and there's the final upgrade for the Unity Buildings, Vault of Acquisitions. Love it. So, Dragon's Horde 30 and 30. And the question is, uh, how much is it going to cost me to lock this place down? Only 210. Oh, because of the L-Gate. 
technically, this isn't even that far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be having this place, thank you. I'll be having Dragon's Horse. And though it would make a good bread basket, honestly, I don't really need a bread basket right now. Unless, of course, I treat this world as a bread basket. So, yeah, Forlorn Hope could actually do more in the way of generating power and minerals. That might not be a terrible idea, you know. And there we go. The system belongs to me. And for 200 minerals, that is a healthy amount of energy and minerals, even at this stage in the game. Love it. Though, yeah, can't deny... Bit disappointed we don't have the dragon scale upgrade. I thought that was kind of guaranteed. Hang on, maybe it's shown up in technology or something. Not as far as I can see, so maybe after I, like, start observing the planet and, like, find the baby dragon if I get the baby dragon event. I'm not sure that's actually guaranteed either. Yeah, okay. Was hoping for something a bit better than that, but never say no to 30 and 30. Now, let's do some smart colonization here, because uh, what I want more than anything is, yeah, someone who is well suited to an ocean world, uh, who is very, very good at farming. So what we're going to do, therefore, is make our own. So these lovely Havol folks here, these guys are adorable. I think we'll be getting rid of slow breeding, actually. They're very adaptive, natural engineers. Solitary's not great either. So let's just get rid of that. Instead, make them farmers. Marvellous. So they're going to be natural engineers, farmers, extremely adaptive, very capable of living wherever the hell I want them to. In fact, actually, hang on. That makes them inappropriate because they don't need to be extremely adaptive. So you guys have just been eliminated. We need to go and find someone who's not extremely adaptive because that's a waste of points. Here we go. The Canvaseem. So these guys, they flipping love oceans. Marvellous. But now you also like farming. And on top of that, what else do we want you guys to be good at? Here we go, rapid breeding, and on top of that, yeah, consumer goods usage down, absolutely flipping love it. So, we're just going to create that template, then we're just going to apply it to your entire species, which should take basically no time whatsoever. Yep, three months, no problem at all. Oh, and we're ready with those Titan assembly yards, flipping love it. And the species has been enhanced, absolutely lovely. So now that species has been enhanced, guys... I've got the perfect, perfect place for you to go and live. Oh, there we go. It's going to take three years to build the damn thing, but our first ever Titan is in production. Oh, beautiful. Luckily, we can build four of the battleships at the same time, so, you know, it's not exactly tying up much in the way of production. Right, new tradition, and obviously now, prosperity. So that should save us a little bit of money, because my economy seems a bit... All over the place, to be honest. So, yeah, let's start off with, uh, yeah, reduction in upkeep. Because uh, I've got a lot of flipping districts. I strongly suspect that might actually make a pretty big impact. Because, uh, yeah, some of the city planet districts are on the expensive side. So, hang on. Plus 39 up to... 111. Marvellous. Right. That's not bad. Though, then again, all sorts of stuff might be changing in the background. So, uh, you can't always say one change is going to be responsible for everything. And we've got our first repeatable tech coming in too. Right, now this. This is going pretty well, actually. I'm starting to enjoy this. And uh, screw it. Get Energy Nexus done. Get a bit more energy in place. Yep, now we're up to 240. I haven't changed anything. But the game tries to self-optimize constantly. And occasionally it goes a bit pendulum mad and just starts swinging jobs around like crazy. So, uh, yeah, sometimes it can be hard to figure out whether what you're doing is good or not. Because the AI is changing more than what you realize in the background. Right, time for the next new big-ass fleet to come in. So, uh, 17,000 odd alloys, you say. Well, luckily, that is loose change to me. So, we'll just start working on that over at Snore for Oh, my. Oh, flippin' my. Just pile out the flippin' battleships. I love it. And here's what I wanted. Cautious ship weapon range up. Flippin' love it. Welcome aboard, Admiral. Oh, there she is. The first flipping titan. Ready to flipping go. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. We actually have a flipping chance. The economy is strong enough as we're just mass pumping out battleships. We might be able to flipping do this. That's now 65,000 strong. All right. We've got three fleets of that and... Uh, I'm still just floating 15,000 right there. Then again, shield fleet's coming in. 
Those guys need some reinforcements too. That's going to cost, yeah, another 10,000, but we can afford this. We can afford all of this. Now, there is more we need, but I suspect we can actually, yeah, fix it all together out of what we've already got. So, all fleets, return to base here. I've got a plan. Oh, and there's the mega structures too. Oh, I flippin' love it. I flippin' love it. And we're really running out of stuff to, to do here, actually, over in engineering. Right, just get me more engineering research, I suppose. Right, over to our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mega structure here. Because uh, how much is it going to cost me to fix this thing up? 10,000. That is not even that much in the grand scheme of things. Right, bit of buying and selling of stuff I don't even need. Let's get it done. Alright, 10,000, not even that much. It's going to take us 10 years, which quite frankly doesn't even seem that long. And uh, I've accidentally gone over fleet capacity. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. A bit of a mistake. So uh, if we make a couple of little changes uh, over here. Yeah, if we actually just swap out some of those PR firms for... Yeah, mercenary liaison officers. Uh, that's plus 10 to go. So uh, just do that across the board. That should be fine. Okay, the fleets that have just returned, uh, separate out every single corvette that we've got. I want all of the corvettes separated out. Right, you guys at this point could basically just be merged together, to be honest. So that's the new Strike Force Kraken. You guys, however, merge into what should be... A giant pile of, yes, 108 Corvettes. Strike Force, you know what? You're going to be the new Strike Force Cerberus because that just ceased to exist. And Strike Force Cerberus has one and precisely one job. Can I actually increase this by. No, I can't. Okay, maybe if I hold it down. No, that doesn't work. Strike Force Cerberus has one and precisely one job, which is obviously to be a guard dog for the fleet behind it. To just get up front, shoot down enemy strike craft. Be extremely evasive, generally be annoying and get in the way. Here we go, aggressive, that'll do then again. Gale speed is nice, but evasion's already capped on these guys, so it's not necessary. Uh, so yeah, you guys get over here. It's just going to be, wow, it is not going to cost much at all to get this thing up to absolute full capacity. Absolutely flippin' love it. So, uh, Titans, two of them are currently in production. Just got, yeah, a huge huge amount of naval capacity in, but we're approaching cap at this point, which is uh, a little bit on the concerning side in some ways, because we've got ourselves, uh, yeah, that's going to be a giant pile of shield uh, right there, that's all absolutely lovely, so that's going to be pretty much at capacity, this is going to be a giant pile of corvette, so uh, this is the front line, uh, this is the mid line, uh, and you guys are the actual flipping hitting power at the rear. Now, in terms of actual numbers, by the way, that's just, uh, yeah, first Zar clan heading over to deal with a handful of pirates. Don't worry about that. Okay, so there's now nothing in production but the two titans uh, for these two forces right here. So once that's done, that's going to be, uh, yeah, 65,000 apiece. So as a result of that, that's going to be, uh, yeah, just shy of 200,000. Together with 40,000 up front, then 35,000 behind them. So yeah, coming up on uh, 275 ish. There's a 40 odd there. Right, so basically just to over 300,000. Also, I seem to have really tanked the economy somehow. Now we can get, yeah, a little bit more into this little fleet. Yeah, Kraken's a bit of a mess. It's just a bit of everything at this point. So uh, yeah, the old Interdictor's still there. The old Nanite ship we got ages ago. That's actually still alive. Uh, together with uh, some cruisers. And yeah, cruisers are weird these days. And a whole bunch of destroyers too. But we are coming up on the top end of what I'm capable of actually... Uh, yeah, dealing with right now, which is a bit of a problem. By the way, the colony, as it was cats, I decided to call it Food Bowl, as that's what it's going to be. It's going to be all about the food. Right, the Titans are about to be coming in. The problem is, yeah, I'm pretty much at the limit of what I'm capable of fielding, short of, uh, yeah, just basically getting out more and more tax. But that's not going to be a massive increase at this point. So, uh, yeah, there's another plus 20, which is not much in the grand scheme of things. So, uh, I could just basically try and get down strongholds uh, and soldiers everywhere. That's certainly one option, but that'll be a bit heavy on the old uh, rare crystals, if I recall correctly. So yeah, that'll need some more infrastructure to set up right there. Okay, right. How are we going to do this? Because uh, I've built this massive fleet, but how am I actually going to, you know, utilize it? Okay, Almeters... Uh, I'm going to need some more information off you. Can we get the actual, yeah, active sensor link back online, please? 
Alright, Tabby, I'm gonna be needing the same thing of you guys. I need to know what the bloody hell's going on. Okay, I've now got 30 year active sensor link with everybody currently bordering the Scourge. So with that, I can actually see where these fleets are and if there's any uh, concentration anywhere, because that's what I need to avoid. I can't be hitting concentrated fleets, I need to find individual ones. So over here, for example, this is an area we do not want to be in, no. Oh, bloody hell, there's more double fleets over here as well. Right, okay, so that, that's a bad time. They're definitely invading the Infinite Pond and the Sethid right now, so those guys are pretty much boned. Uh, what about over here in Almerta space? Now this, this looks more manageable is not really the right word, but we might have a chance. We might have a chance there. I mean, just bear in mind, even though the numbers appear to be against us, yeah, these ships, they don't actually have much that can really hit me, to be honest. They've got a huge number of swarm strikers a large part of the time. And missiles, we can take that out, we can shoot it down. All we need to do is knock out the big lads. And the big lads have, uh, yeah, about 25,000 hit points. If my artillery battery can just do the job, uh, we might be able to take out a fleet. We might be ready to do it. Now the problem is, I would much rather do this over at where we planned to make our stand, over at Nuprum. Because Nuprum is uh, not just 22,000, which is, you know, nice but not exactly essential... But yeah, we've got ourselves bonus fire rate, we have got ourselves, yeah, sublight speed down, so basically we can start firing sooner, and they can't get to us as fast. I mean, it's a modest benefit in some ways, it is a bit of a modest benefit. But actually, this thing has got plenty of flipping health, so it would keep them busy while I kept firing. I mean, never say no to 128,000 hull points between you and the enemy. Also, apparently, we've got a Federation fleet of 330,000, so that's nice. It's literally nothing but corvettes. Corvettes with Type 1 autocannons on them. Right, well this is odd, but okay. And yeah, autocannons are good against shield, not good against armor. So okay, this thing's completely useless. Well done. Speaking of which, don't forget to actually, yes, yeah, set jump drives. We do need jump drives across the board. Ah, that's where the Ether Drake trophy is. I was wondering where that had got to because I didn't see a building. Okay, it's a major relic these days. So... Right, Unity plus 10 permanently, which is uh, pretty modest, really. And if I activate it, then Happiness plus 10%. That's pretty underwhelming, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I think we'll just be summoning Zarklan, actually, because Zarklan does indeed will it. Okay, I've just been going around the Empire trying to squeeze every bit of fleet capacity I can find. This is pretty much everything. Pretty much everywhere, it's, yeah, nothing but... Giant, giant piles of anchorage. And, uh, yeah, we got more being built over there right now. We're changing out guns uh, wherever we can. And I'm at 24 out of 24. And I don't see where I'm going to get more. 24 is actually pretty decent, all things considered. I've got Manifest Destiny. I've got Supremacy Traditions. I've got Grasp the Void. I've got Trading Posts. Yeah. Where else am I going to get some from? I mean... There'll be a couple of techs, but that's not reliable. I don't know when those are going to show up. Also, there's a small matter of a machine uprising over in the Click Cooperative, but honestly, we're not really going to be getting involved in that. They can just do whatever they want. In fact, it looks, it looks pretty small to me. And if I want to, I can offer them association status. Well, I'll give them a research agreement for now. Okay, I've just, just managed to squeeze back out of the red there, and there's a little bit more coming in too, but it's not going to be more than, say, probably 1,250 absolute tops here. Basically, yeah, this is a problem I wasn't expecting, which is uh, I physically can't get enough fleet on the field uh, to actually take on the crisis, and yes, we'd like to extend the deal. Uh, you guys, however, maybe will just say no for the time being. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. I physically don't have enough fleet capacity without going massively over fleet capacity, which I can't really do because I can't afford it. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is going to be tricky. Basically, what I've concluded here is uh, I need to be able to win with what I've got here. Because uh, if I can't, then quite simply, I can't win at all, with the possible exception of... Ah. Yes, the domesticated fleet that's completely screwing me over. Guys, how would you like... To just basically repeatedly run yourself directly into the swarm until you die. Ooh, and technically we're going into support, yeah, some Almerta troops who have made uh, a terrible, 
terrible decision. No, don't go. I want you to kill me. That's right. Stay right here, please. Stay right here. That's right, guys. I believe in you. You can do this. Against all odds, you can pull this off. Fire your acid spit missiles or something. And if you'd like to just all die, that would actually be very convenient. So, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. You guys are all dead at this point. And uh, is the fleet actually dead? I'd like to think the fleet's actually dead. Yes, it appears to all be dead. Good. Yep, she's not showing up as an admiral anymore. I think I've successfully managed to kill that fleet. Marvellous. Then again, hang on, my... The actual naval capacity's not gone down. Right, I think that might have been free, actually, because... Why has that not gone down? Right, possibly I've just killed a free fleet, but that's fine. It was useless anyway. Right, that extra fleet capacity... Get Strike Force Cerberus as strong as we flipping can, because it's not actually quite at capacity yet. But actually, you know what? Corvettes will catch up easily enough. It's time. It's time for us to see what we can do. There is a fleet here that is pretty much as weak as a fleet's going to be in the Scourge. If we can't take this out, we can't take out anything. It is exposed. It's out of the way. Right. All forces uh, head over towards... Uh, hang on, where's going to be the right place? Oh, uh, that is... Uh, dangerously close by to the L-Gate, actually. Maybe don't do the L-Gate. No, it's backing off. Okay, maybe do do the L-Gate. Right, everybody, all units, report to the L-Gate because that there is actually, yeah, advantageous. It'll slow them down a bit. All forces move in that direction. We're sending literally everything. Ah, I decided to undock the fleet and that's, um, that's ended badly in some ways. That's fine. That's all 100% fine. Just like, you know, get some generator jobs going or something. Oh, I have completely tanked the economy. That's fine. That's all fine. I have got enough alloys coming in to prop things up. Also, I've got this stuff, which I can just sell for money. Okay, just sell a bunch of alloys. We've got plenty of alloys for the time being. We can keep ourselves going by just flooding the market with alloys. For now, at least. But we can't do that forever. This is... Oh, this is not good. Actually... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What we need is a new complete. front line in this part of the world. Bring in the construction ship. We could literally just take one of these systems that's been left abandoned. Bear in mind, of course, I do literally get plus 15% fire rate inside my own territory. It is important that when we engage, it's not our men's territory. It's my own. And their specialist output up by 5%. Okay, this is working. When I say this is working, this is dicey as anything. I really wish I could take this black hole. That'd be marvellous. But uh, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I might be able to take this black hole. Okay, I've got another plan, a follow-up plan. Actually, no, they'll never sell. I was just about to say, yeah, if I take this territory, maybe I can buy this. But they'll never sell because the AI never sells. They're willing to buy, but they'll never sell. Yeah, this economic thing's no flipping joke. I mean, I can temporarily, yeah, just basically go into uh, capacity overload. Uh, that'll slow down the issues, but not for long. Yeah, that's down to minus 183. It'll do for now with capacity overload on, but it's not a permanent solution. We need to find a way to make this work, and it means I can't have the fleet much bigger than it is for the time being, because uh, I simply can't afford it. I'll end up selling the alloys. I need to potentially rebuild the fleet to cover reinforcements. Okay, they're starting to arrive. Everybody's here. The main artillery fleets have not arrived yet. They're the slowest. They'll be at the rear, but this is it. This is literally pretty much all we can afford to field. We need to make this work, because if we can't make it work right now... We can't make it work at all. Because if I can't take out one individual fleet with everything I can afford to field, we don't stand a chance against the rest of it. That's just fact. Okay, the first star base goes down. So we are reclaiming star mag for myself. You guys are about to naff off towards... Uh, yeah, you're going over here. So if you just like to, yeah, naff off further in that direction, we might be able to retake these territories. And once we've got, yeah, these three, sooner or later, these guys have to pass through territory that I own. And it is essential that I do not engage them outside of my own territory for the time being. Here we go. These guys are now actually, yeah, while they're heading in this direction, they're going around to Altair. Okay, that's good. They're naffing right the flip off. And that means you... And I'm in a good position to head around here. Just make sure you're actually heading 
They're not heading north right now. Okay, it's just because they've been distracted by that construction ship. They need to shoot the flip down. Yep, missiles homing in because those missiles are technically, like, you know, alive. But now they should... Oh, now they're moving. Are we evacuating? No, now they're moving to Nembus. Okay, keep a really, really, really flipping close eye on where they're moving. We need to take our opportunities at the right moment. And good, Nembus is way up north. There is another fleet nearby. That's going towards Dojak down over here. So, okay, we might be willing to consider moving in and actually engaging over there. Now, if I actually start, yeah, building these up into actual star bases... It's not so much about the strength, it's about the fact, yeah, if I can just get them up to just a basic star base, one, I'll go over capacity, which is kind of bad, but two, I can build a command center. Plus 10% fire rate, that is no small thing at all. Also, bloody hell, hang on, we might have some friends nearby. 331,000, am I reading that correctly? Okay, um, the Federation fleet arrived, that's... That's just 500 Corvettes. I think we did actually acknowledge, yes, those are kind of useless because that weapon is one. It's good against hull, but it's terrible against armor. Where are you guys actually going? I might be willing to come and support because that's a flip lot of ships. They're moving to Ulm all the way over there. Okay, that would logically mean they're going the exact same route as these guys. And if this is a Corvette fleet... That means the speed of your ships is, uh, yeah, 280 versus uh, 168. They're going to catch them. Okay, I really don't like this one little bit, but I'm deploying my fleet in to potentially reinforce. Okay, they're moving over to Ulfeo over there. So they're actually going, ah, you're going this way around. Fine, that makes perfect sense too. Okay, so they're not going to smash into that fleet. However... I think there's another fleet coming in precisely that direction. No, you're moving to uh, to Ospra. Where's Ospra? Ospra's right here, and you're going to you're going to Dojak. You're going to come dangerously close to each other, aren't you? Are they responding to this in any way? No, that fleet's still going to Nembus. You're going to Dojak. You are, yeah, you're going to Ospra. Fine, I see no other major fleets around here. Aside from you guys, I think you're heading, yeah, you're heading further north. Okay, we might be heading in to our first big engagement here. The Scourge do not seem to be responding to the presence of this ridiculously massive fleet. So, alright, begin pursuing here. They're still heading to Ulm. There's going to be a collision like, round about here somewhere. The problem is, because they're nothing but Corvettes, they're going to get ahead of me. They're going to engage long before I can move in to assist. Actually, maybe there's not. Because the fleet heading towards Dojak is this fleet up here. They are actually going... They're going a slightly unusual route to get there. Okay, they're moving... They're moving down to here. Even though Dojak is... Okay... Hang on, are you guys going to Dojak through... Uh-oh. They might be going to Dojak through Rant Mario, which means... These could be the ones. This could be the one we're actually fighting. Okay, um, all troops, fall back, fall back, fall back. We might be willing to engage on this spot. You are... You're the ones going to Nembus. Yep, you're the ones going over here. Let's just check your direction here. You have just... Yeah, you're moving in this direction. 388, moving in the direction of Selmok. Yes, that is definitely the case. They must be going this way. This is the only path they could reasonably be going. Um, how's the construction going? Because... Uh, 83. Okay, that's going to be done. Oh, flip. We need to decide right now whether this is what we're doing, by the way. I mean, one nice thing at least. They're going to be able to take down home. Okay, they're going to be able to very slowly take down this platform, but that platform, yeah, is protected by armor. And armor is, is not great. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Think this through really carefully here. Is this the right fleet for me to engage right now? Oh, this is actually a really small system, which is a little bit on the concerning side, but... Yeah, this is, this is really too small. Which I hadn't really even considered, but yeah, tiny systems uh, 
means there's less space to operate in. If we want to do this, then what we need is, yeah, we are going to have the Corvettes right on top of them, ready to ambush them. We are going to have a shield fleet just behind them, ready to basically just fire in ludicrous, ludicrous amounts of point defense and flak. And then at the rear, by the station, by the sun, we will just have giant piles of artillery laying into them. If we can't win with this, we can't win at all. Okay, the base is done, but obviously it's just a basic base, so yeah, no buildings. And, okay, the battleships, they're not even here yet. They're taking a bit of time to make it over to us, because, you know, their movement is a bit on the slow side. Uh, luckily, okay, these guys haven't even jumped through to this system yet. They're not responding in any way. They are definitely heading in this direction. This is... This is happening. This is actually happening right now, and... Uh, are you guys also about to... Uh-oh, no. You guys just changed your... You just changed your direction. No. That wasn't those guys. Wait, hang on. You're the Nembus guys. What happened to the... The Doja guys? No, I'm fighting the Dojack guys. Right, so you guys are about to run into... Oh, you guys are about to be slaughtered by that. I'm so sorry, but you're about to be annihilated. I've got my own problems to deal with. Sorry about this. Here we go. The artillery fleet's moving into position. Absolutely... Love it. So you guys just, yeah, get where you need to go. Be ready. Just open up on them at the moment they make it through. This is, uh, this is it. This is the plan. Corvettes, destroyers, the little kind of leftover Kraken fleet. Then we've got the pilgrims and the artillery at the rear. This is, uh, this is it now. Unless, of course, you guys are about to get distracted uh, by this tiny force, which potentially uh, you might be. I don't actually flip in, no. And, uh, you guys going to make it out? Are you going to be... No, you guys are about to be pulled into a fight. So that's... That's no good for you. Okay? This is it. We're going to do it. And that means uh, we need to line it all up because we're not quite done on the setup. Number one. Sink some relics into military applications, please. What's that? Weak point analysis, armor damage plus 10%. Yep, we'll be taking that, thank you. Energy weapon damage plus 25%. That'd certainly be very, very useful indeed. Uh, shields isn't so useful. Sublight speed is fine. Uh, sensor range. Uh, yeah, pretty much anyone that gives us a direct benefit in space because... Uh, where's the actual... the armor? There it is, there's the armor. Right, volatile reactive armor. Armor hull points plus 25%. That's now active. Don't have the crystals for the other. Well, we can sort that out. Let's just go over to the market for a second. And there we go. We're, we're losing money so fast right now. Right, get focusing crystals in play. So my armor is now stronger. My energy weapons are now even more flipping powerful. This is it. This is as strong as we can be. Is there anything else I can do? Like, maybe admirals. We might want to change over the admirals because, uh, yeah... Actually, ship fire rate plus 10%. We might just want to hire a giant pile of admirals right now because, uh, yeah, that's it's not spectacular, is it? No. Right, to the market. Quickly just flog ourselves a handful of resources there. There we go. And just a little bit more. There we go. 10,000 energy. Let's just very quickly go and chat to our friends, the wildlings. And just hire a handful of admirals. Three should do the job. Yeah, right now the actual Cerberus force of flanking Corvettes is just a level 1 Admiral with sublight speed up and ship fire rate 5%. So we're going to be trading him out for a level 3 with ship fire rate plus 10%. Evasion's not so good, but shield fleets, you probably need uh, the same actually. The evasion will be useful for you. Yes, yeah, swap him out for another one of the mercenaries, spot on. And yeah, level 1 aggressive on one of the artillery fleets. Bring in this guy please. Okay, that's a big old pile of admirals. Level 3 is uh, not terrible, all things considered. That's, yeah, 9% on the fire rate, a further 10% right there. This is... This is it. This is all we've got. That's... I think that's all I can do. And I believe these guys are now going to continue. They've been ever so slightly softened up, but... They're coming in. We are going to make this happen right now. Are you guys planning to... Oh, you guys. Oh, you massive, massive trolls. They're backing the flip off. Oh, meanwhile over here. Yeah. How's, um, how's this going for you? Because you guys did decide to actually uh, engage versus... Wow, actually, you're... 
You're doing better than I would have expected. To be honest, you have absolutely torn apart one of the Vanguard fleets, but uh, reinforcements are coming in, and that's going to be the end of that fleet, unfortunately. Right, that's that's kind of a shame. You were doing really well, but now you're just massively outgunned. Okay. Is there anything we could do to draw these guys back in? I don't know. Okay, the groundwork's been done. All right. If he's about to naff off to... Uh, Diaparu, where is that? Oh, you've screwed me over, you stupid bastards. They're responding en masse to that stupid fleet that never stood a chance. Right, so that fleet's gonna be basically annihilated. Hopefully, if we're lucky, some of it just gets to warp out. Luckily, I think they paid for all of that by themselves, which is a-okay. And maybe if we're very lucky, once that fleet's been destroyed, they might change their minds and come straight back round again. Oh, and the race is on. They're trying to take this system, but no. No, 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 no. My ship is, in fact, much faster than you. So you can basically naff the flip off, loser. And what's this ship doing, by the way? That ship's still heading in that direction. Okay, um, deploy Cerberus just to go and intercept that small force. What are you guys doing, by the way? You're moving up to uh, Hot Tram. That is way further up north, too. Fine, looks like they're spending most of their time focusing on Tabby right now, so... Uh, we got a bit of breathing space down here. We can ultimately cut off, yeah. Actually, with Brynis now actually available, we could actually cut off, yeah, the only other way they've actually got down into our med space. We could, ooh. Okay, now that's a trap they can't avoid forever. Oh no, I didn't say you could go actually, and uh, yeah, I think we'll find I'm much faster than you. So you can just naff off actually, marvellous. Right, uh, bring the Corvettes back over here. If we can take Brynis, that'd be great, but... Hang on, there's... Ooh, some of these forces have been weakened, and there's a little 90,000 down over here. Okay, that's a nice little starting point. Deploy the fleet research back complete. over in this direction, please. And more research coming in. Oh, there's that attack speed. That's good. That's good stuff right there. And ooh, Hello, sexy. Right, yes, recent change. Plenty of mega structures are no longer locked behind ascension perks. You can just research them. Oh, yeah. Now that, that I could very much do with. Because that's science without having the increased empire sprawl normally associated with more science. Oh, flip, but it's shown up at the same time as gateway construction. Which is uh, pretty bloody important for being able to protect Vetin Vatar, which I need to be able to do. And honestly, uh, having gateways to move my trade directly back home without having any piracy picking it off would probably be pretty good for the economy. So, uh, yeah, take the gateway. We'll get the science nexus done later, but that's too expensive for the minutes. Okay, all fleets move in. We are now heading over in this direction. Keep a really close eye. You're heading north. You're heading down to Ospra, which is a bit out of the way. In fact, well, maybe. Hopefully you're just bombarding Ospra. Sorry, Owls, but, you know, needs must at this exact moment in time. And you, where are you going right now? You're, oh, okay. They were taking on something, presumably uh, the platform. Okay, now, cell knock, I think, could actually be important. Even though it's going to be expensive, uh, begin upgrading it. If need be, we'll knock something else down. We just have to at this point. Oh, very annoying timing. The Great Tempest are coming in. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I'd rather not have to go and deal with them right now. I am busy, but I guess needs flipping must. Okay, we'll get to them in a minute, all right? We will get to them in a minute. The forces are this exact moment in time. Yeah, just moving in over here. That wasn't a major fleet. That was just a single reinforcement vessel. Get all of the artillery fleets in over here. Where are you right now? You are... Oh, they're pulling out... Darn it. I was really hoping uh, we'd be able to catch them. But for the time being, uh, they're doing a very, very good job avoiding us. Okay. Fall back to the L gates and deal with these bastards. I don't regret opening the L gates because the L gates have opened a huge amount of space for me in terms of, yeah, traveling around the galaxy nice and easily. Though uh, it has been mildly annoying uh, having to deal with their fleets. All right, guys, just walk back home super fast, please. Uh, yeah, Corvettes can easily just evade all of this business. Plenty more coming in. Shoot them all down, please. Goodbye. That's good. That's the stuff right there. Marvellous.
Okay, fleet back in position, and unfortunately, Selnok's not going to be done upgrading before, yeah, we got trouble coming in. No, actually, they've changed their mind. You're now actually moving to... Hang on. You're supposed to be moving to Selnok, but I can't help but notice that... Did I just cancel that when you were actually going a stupid long way round? I think I just cancelled that, didn't I? No, I hadn't cancelled it yet. Good. Okay, this is... This is good. You're going to Selnok, but you're doing it a stupid way. Because Selnok's... It's right there, but you're going over to... All forces, report to Selnok. This is the fleet, alright? This is the big one, actually. That's a Vanguard fleet. That's as weak as it gets. But it is a full strength weak fleet. So, uh, I think we can handle this. I think we can do this, alright? We could pull this off, but yeah, momentarily there's... Starbase capacity 23? What happened to... Oh! Right, yes, we actually um, lost one down over here when, of course, the Elgate guys showed up. The Grey Tempest. Right, that's that's fine. That's all okay. We didn't need that anyway. In fact, yeah, this one will be better. This is our new front line. Selnok is now going to be hugely, hugely important. 60 days, that's going to be ready to go. All forces, move in. Prepare to reinforce and... Uh, Almertus, if you'd like to help out, that 15,000 is not nothing. That'd really be appreciated. How the hell are you planning to get to Selnok right now? You're looping round the top. Okay, I guess you're going via Lidges and then to Vacate right there. So, uh, that's fine. I'm happy for you to do that. And if we could just get, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful command center set up here... That'd be marvellous if we could just squeeze that out before they arrive, because these guys are not fast. We're all forces present and correct at this point. You guys stay right there. It's going to take them some time to get here, because, yeah, they're slow. That's the nice thing about the swarm. They are slow. Okay, three, two, one. There we go. Buildings, let's get that. What's the right one? We could slow them down and make it less likely for them to escape. Command center is... No, command center needs Star Fortress. Balls, that's that's irritating. Okay, I could slow them down or I could increase my range. Now, increasing my range seems like a really good thing because then even if they get through my shield fleet and my corvette, it doesn't matter. I can keep hammering them before they get into range. That's... That's really nice, but it's going to take a year to build, so it's kind of irrelevant, but we'll try and get it done. And we can also do some very light repairs here. Now, this is an actual star base. It's not great, but it'll do. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. They're looping around a really, really long way. I don't know why they're doing it that way, but they are. Prepare yourselves. This time it's happening, because now nothing's going to distract them. Okay, they're coming in right now. They are still moving towards Selnok. 337,000 moving in this direction. And once again, we have got ourselves the Corvettes up front. Shield fleet right behind them. The Pilgrims over here. Maybe move them just a tiny bit further back. Kraken over on one side. And then the artillery fleet at the rear. And I'm guessing that's going to be nowhere near done. Marvellous. Still, it's an extra 1,000 power. I'm not going to say no. Now, we should win this one. We should. But the question is, uh, how well are we going to win it? Because it needs to be a pretty bloody convincing victory for us to have any chance in the long run. Also, good point. Call up the science ships right now. We need to actually, yeah, have science ships ready to go. And that's going to take... Okay, that cannot be the best way for you to go. That's better. Complicated series of Elgate jumps. Marvellous. So this Admiral is level 3, comes with sublight speed up, no other bonuses whatsoever. It is nothing but swarmers. So actually in some ways, yeah, this is a bit of an odd fleet because this fleet has no missiles and no strike craft whatsoever. So yeah, we're kind of set up to not deal with it, but we should still be able to cut through it. I'm sure it's fine. All right, here they come. They're moving in right now. So over to here and no one's helping us out. No one's helping us out whatsoever so now it's purely a case of what the hell's about to happen they should be coming in momentarily i saw them start to warp in they come and in comes the firepower in come the big guns in come the extra large and they're starting to take a lot of damage in comes oh that's the perdition beams tearing them apart right over there drop into 170 corvette fleet is doing pretty well everyone's moving in the big lasers are coming in Oh, flip. That was... Okay. 
Stop for a second. Let's stop. How much did we just lose? We just lost 40 fleet capacity out of Strike Force Cerberus. So that's actually not too hard to replace. I think they were about 175. They weren't quite at full strength. Griffin is fine. Saren is fine. Phoenix is fine. Shield took literally no damage whatsoever. Zarklan took basically no damage. Okay, how much is it going to cost to actually get us back up to strength off that? Because uh, reinforce all. Okay, it's a bit pricey. That's definitely a bit on the pricey side. But Strike Force Cerberus did its flipping job right there. Unquestionably, they did their job. They were the ones taking the damage. And with 90% evasion, they have got more staying power than they've got any flipping right to. And in terms of fleet damage, it looks to me like actually, yeah. Not much has been done at all. These fleets are... They're fine. Everybody's fine. Oh, flip me. We might be onto something here. And here we go. Large Scourge missiles. Bioweapons are starting to appear. And those could be uh, very, very useful indeed, actually. Are you guys starting to respond? Well, you're moving to Ospra. You're not immediately moving over here at all. Moving to Haman. Okay. They're not panicking and responding en masse just yet. But while we're starting to cause some trouble and dealing with some small fleets down here, the owls are doing a good job taking some territory back just to, uh, you know, keep all these guys nice and busy. Meanwhile, you may notice over on the economy side, yeah, I've been desperately transferring some farms over to generator districts, and it feels like the balance is working a bit better. So now, uh, my fleet can actually, yeah, be out here at Selnok, guarding the frontier against the Scourge, uh, without running a deficit, which is uh, pretty bloody good, actually, yes. In fact, actually, having taken out that army, and with this army heading north to Terrabellum, which is actually, yeah, a fair way out of the way, looks to me like, actually, we might have a bit of an opportunity to do a bit of an actual, you know, uh, pushback here. We might be able to... Oh, well, hello. This is all fascinating. Okay, bring our fleets... Over to here, please. No, no, no. I'm no longer satisfied with a victory. It's time to start taking some flipping land back. All right. All fleets, move in, please. Move in, move in, move in. And there is now an aggressor station that needs taken down. Unfortunately, that aggressor station is coming under a lot of rainbow and plasma fire right now. And with that, oh my. The pushback has begun. Right, move up to Lieges over there. Move straight in. Same deal again. All fleets handling that. You're still heading north to Terrabellum. Make sure you're heading, uh, yep, definitely in that direction. Absolutely flipping marvellous. I can't help but notice there's a big old pile of armies floating around here. Like, so many armies, actually. By the way, what's that over there? That is... Uh, Ooh, uh, Swarm Strikers as well. Right, we're just creating giant piles of research, and there we go. Right, you guys, start mopping up the research as fast as you can, please. Fast as you flipping can. Uh, we've got ourselves some armies to kill. Hey, maybe you were thinking about, I don't know, invading some planets or something. I don't want you to do that, actually. Oh, you're firing missiles at me. No, I'm not sure that's going to work out for you. Like at all. And by the way, your platform's going to be dead and all of your armies have been shot the flip down. So, uh, no, no, actually, uh, you don't get to, uh, you don't get to go and invade anywhere, actually. That's, that's all absolutely fine. You're naffing off too, by the way. And this, I believe, is, uh, that's a scourge world right there. Right. These things can't be invaded. They just need to be uh, bombarded. That's literally all you can do to them. But, look at this. This looks very much like, say, I don't know, a choke point to me. If I could hold that, now that, that could be where we flipping hold them. Because then I wouldn't need two choke points anymore. One would be just fine. Right, all fleets converge on the breach point. I don't want the Corvettes getting too far ahead of anything else. And uh, we're not taking much in the way of damage right now. Keep reinforcing as fast as you can. But honestly, my economy... Uh, can't really keep up with this forever. You're still moving north to Terrabellum. They're not responding to this push. But we're actually successfully pushing them the flip back at this point. So, uh, 
All right, in we go. That station's going to fall, just like all of the others. So, uh, yeah, all firepower, focus on that station, please. Uh, so, anytime you're ready with the perdition beams, that looks like a perdition beam to me. And, oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. Yep, you want to try and attack... Oh, blimey heck. Lightning, uh, blue beams, yellow beams. All oh, the beams. Oh, it just melts. It just flipping melts. Just make sure they're not immediately turning back to attack me. Uh, that's actually an infester right there. They're colonization ships. Okay. All fleets, prepare to move in and prepare to begin the bombardment of uh, this infested world. This infested world needs to go the flip down. Because we are going to liberate this planet. And by liberate, I mean kind of like, you know, bomb it a bit. And that'll do in terms of, yeah, hyper shields and physics and whatever. Yeah, now move on to the sexy the stuff. The new stuff. Begin the bombardment of Rookie. We just need to basically get it up to 100% and then it dies. That's, that's all you do there. So, uh, yeah, devastation up to 1%. And hopefully, uh, rising nice and fast, you're definitely naffing off right. I won't feel comfortable until they've actually naffed off out of this system. And it looks to me like, hello, what are you? You're an infester! Right, what are you planning to infest? Nothing around here, there's no planets to infest, but okay. That's all absolutely fine. We just need to, yeah, deal with all of this. Reinforcements piling in. Owls, if you want to help yourself to some of this, that's absolutely great. In fact, actually, you know what? Uh, this one over here, I'll gladly sell ya. Oh yeah, seven dollars a month for ten years. I will gladly, very gladly be taking that for two systems I don't need. I'll hold Selnok for now, just in case we need to fall back to it. But these two, you can just have those. No problem whatsoever. By the way, um, we're currently bombing a Scourge world, so you may now begin indiscriminate bombing. Don't bother with the whole selective business. Just bomb the hell out of whatever you want. There we go. That's much faster progress. In fact, yeah, they're suffering 0.02 a day. So yeah, 1% every five days, so... Uh, Still going to take me about a year and a half of bombardment to completely burn the corruption off this world, but screw it, it'll do. Though, in theory, just in theory, if I were to build a Death Star, that could do it a lot faster. Ooh, then again, maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Yeah, I think they've noticed me. Actually, I think I've just managed to um draw a bit of attention to myself, actually, because, yeah... One of their proper fleets is now on the move towards Selnok. And I think I just saw another fleet. Yeah, that's heading to Devilkate. So that's actually, yeah, right by Selnok as well. So uh, we can't hold this system. Not a chance in hell. And I think, yeah, you're heading down towards Brynis. And Brynis is, yeah, straight through that system. So uh, I think we might need a Death Star to crack that planet before we can actually, yeah, take this choke point. For the time being... I think we need to fall back to Selnok. I'm getting a bit far ahead of myself here. I got a bit overexcited by this whole situation. But I'll say we're making some good progress here. We're doing some good scanning. Okay, all fleets withdraw. Withdraw from Rookie. We've made our point. We have proved that we can smash their system. We have proved that we can go up to their planets. We have proved that we can start bombing them. We're not quite ready for that yet, but... We've proved we can. The fleets are strong enough. And amazingly, for the first time, I'm willing to actually say uh, with some degree of, you know, not question mark on the end of it, we might be able to win. It's only 200 years since the game began. I think we've actually got the firepower to start beating back the Scourge, which is ridiculous. But I think we can. It's going to depend in some ways on tech right now. I desperately need more star bases for more anchorage to have more fleets. Oh, but I tell you what, a strategic coordination center wouldn't flip and hurt either. Oh my. Right, 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 right. That's another thing we could just pile on in terms of the bonuses. Now that, that'd be sexy too. And yeah, what I really need to do is get that gateway construction finished. Build a gateway in Selnok. Build another gateway down over here by Vetin Vatar. And ideally build one actually, yeah, right by Snorf itself. Because right now we're just using the reactivated one at Reshell. Though, uh, to save some money, we'll probably keep using that one uh, for the time being. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is going much, much better than I expected, alright? We've actually managed to defeat a fleet. It's a small fleet, it was a vanguard fleet, but... We didn't take catastrophic losses while we're doing it. And uh, we're going to be able to get our fleet back up to the same fighting strength before they're actually able to respond in any way. 
But now they're sending in the big lads, uh, the proper fleets, not the vanguard. So uh, we need to start kicking their asses too. And then the problem is going to really start emerging if they start sending more than one fleet at once. Because uh, if they start realizing we're a threat and they start sending two or three fleets, that's the point where even if I could win, I'm not sure that's even a thing. Uh, yeah, the casualties might be so great I couldn't possibly rebuild afterwards. So uh, that's that'd be interesting. But... We have made some exciting, truly amazing progress today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, uh, I'm genuinely thrilled at how much progress we've made. And uh, here we go. We've got flipping new tech coming in here. We've got all the exciting tech coming in. We're going to start reverse engineering bioweapons. There they are. Scourge missiles. So explosive. Uh, damage pretty bloody good. 135 to 175. Uh, accuracy 100%. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Bearing in mind, of course, the Scourge itself has, yeah, I believe, no point defense whatsoever. So, uh, shield penetration's not great, but bonus damage to armor, bonus damage to hull. Uh, that's worth having a think about right there. And you know what? The rest of the galaxy is playing its part too. I've just destroyed, yeah, about 100 vessels of the Scourge, but 541 have been destroyed uh, by other people. Now, that might be primarily, say, uh, army vessels or whatnot, but... Other people are trying their best, all right. They're fighting back. They're doing what they can. Uh, the poor tenants of Tabby are most definitely being squeezed out right now. But they're trying. They're resisting, all right. We've actually got a chance. This universe might not be doomed. And the fight continues next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. It's been many a true nerd. And this has been Stellaris, the maybe not impossible run. Thank you very much and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me.